part one of this tutorial, I created quiz items using Respondus and uploaded them to Brightspace as a new quiz. Part two, I adjusted the items and created quiz sections, some of which were set to shuffle the items, that is, to deliver them in random order. In part three, I will adjust some of the quiz settings including the date and time, as well as to show you how to allow for extra time for those who need it. I will click on the link to the quiz to open the settings pages. As I scroll through the quiz, you can see the individual items. You can also tell what type they are and their worth. You can also see the section divisions. Down here at the bottom, you can see the text boxes where I can enter extra information and instructions if need be. I won't do that now as I have already done it in the section divisions. I can also add headers and footers if need be. Once again, I'm leaving those out. Now, let's go back to the top of the page. Notice that the page is divided into six tabs. We will need to make changes to the items on the Restrictions tab, so I will click to open it. Unless you want the quiz to be always there, you will have to set the time frame that it will be available. So, we can open the calendar and set the start and end dates. Let's say it becomes available on November 17th at 5 p.m. Similarly, we can set when the availability ends. In this case, let's leave the quiz up for only a few hours. Click here if you want the quiz to appear in the calendar. Scrolling down, you can see that you can enforce a time limit if you need to. Just click here and edit the time as required. And check this box if you want the quiz to be auto-submitted after the time is up and the grace period has expired. Perhaps you have students who get accommodations. If so, click here to enable special access for those individuals. One of the most common accommodations is to allow the student time and a half. If that's the case for some students, then you click here under enforced time limit and then set the box that pops up to whatever is recommended. It's generally half again what you normally allow. Here it starts at 120 minutes so we will allow an extra 60. So we will change the time limit to 180 minutes. With that done I would scroll down to see the class list and then check off the students who get this special access. For privacy reasons, I am not showing that step. I finish by clicking Add Special Access. Note that you can have several of these going on at once. In addition to accommodation for students who need extra time, you may also, for example, have different start and end times for students who must work or who are located in different time zones. You can also choose to link the quiz to a specific grade item in your gradebook. To do that, first click the Assessment tab. From this page, you can then choose the grade item. You can even create a new one if need be. Notice that you can set the number of attempts. The default is unlimited attempts are allowed, but you can set it to any number. The most common is one. And you click save and close when you are done. And that's it. The quiz is now ready for use.